Hi everyone, welcome to my let's play Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. In this video, I'll try to speak out what I'm thinking as the player character, to add in some roleplay elements. Let me know if you like this type of commentary, I'll try to upload a brand new episode every day. If you like my content, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and enjoy. Another day for me in this fucked up world. Picking up junks, salvaging, and surviving. <laughs> I've been here for many days. I used to have a friend and his name is Henri and he's dead. But now we have Casey. I can hear you. What is it? Yeah, I, I got spooked the other day. The crash rattled me. I'm sorry. It's just... I don't know who to trust. There's not many decent options out there, but I'm getting desperate, so um, I I need to take a chance uh, on you. W what do you think? Can, uh, can you help me out? Please? You've got my attention. I've been hearing things from the tower radio chatter. They found something, and I need it. Bad. Problem is, I have no way to get my hands on it without help, w without you. Now, I'm willing to give up what I know about the reserve in exchange. Does that sound fair? What do you need? A pump flow regulator. A tower patrol founded by Memorial Lane in the Garden District. It's just another useless piece of junk to them. The problem is, there's a potential showdown brewing over there between the patrol and a reclaimed camp. It could get bloody, quickly. I'm ready to do this. The pump regulator is a piece of industrial equipment about the size of a coffee maker. Uh, pipes, switches, knobs, you'll know it when you see it. Now, the tower patrol has it at their camp, Red House on Memorial Lane. And remember, reclaimed are nearby, so you might get caught in the middle of a scrap between them. Now, once you have it in hand, hustle back to the radio and contact me. Time is not on my side. If you pull this off, I'll spill everything I know about the reserve. You have my word. All right, I'm in. But before that, I need to go check out the coffin. I know Omri is dead. And I know that for the time being, you stepped into his shoes, whoever you are. I am not in the habit of trusting people these days. Trust gets you dead when it's given to the wrong person. And there is a lot of wrong out there. But I am willing to set prejudice aside for a few moments so we can have a little chat. See if we can work together. I'm assuming you scored a few useful things on that last power. Whenever that came out, as long as anything happens to me. Understood? Get yourself to the churchyard. I will unlock the gate so you can reach the area. Stay out in the open. If I am satisfied you are alone, you will see me. I'm already on my way. So there she is. Whoops. Don't get used to meeting like this. It's a rarity. I'm not fond of the face-to-face -face either. Too much work. All right, then we're on the same page. I'll get to the point. Why are you helping me? Henri trusted you. So that's good enough for me. Were you two friends? I guess you could say we were new friends, sure. I saved his ass from a slew of walkers in the bayou. And I liked talking to the guy. He had a way about him. He sure did. My daughter was fond of him. Loved the way he could spin a tail. Well, may he rest in peace. You got some curmudgeonly shoes to fill. I'll point you to tower caches with useful supplies. And you get me the intel they contain. Sound like a deal? You've got yourself a deal. Take this drawing. There's some intel at the location in the drawing. When you have it, leave it for me at the usual spot. Right side of the building. Got it. Consider it done. Yeah. 
Before I go, I need some weapon. Something stealthy. Doesn't make a sound. Maybe a bow. Need more ammo. Some arrows will do. I'll need more than that. Let's go. We arrived. some junks. For the stamina. No. A broken shotgun. Could be handy. A single walker. So alone and so dead. Travel in packs, walkers. Remember that. <laughs> no one gets inside, street orders. You have a problem with that, see Jeff, he's around the corner. Okay. I'll talk to Jeff. Anthony, how could he be so dense? He should have known better. Anthony, who is that? You got nerve rolling in here uninvited. Don't mean to intrude. We don't need strays poking around right now. We have enough problems to deal with. Maybe I'm the solution. You know what? Yeah, you might prove useful. My brother is in some deep shit. Pack of reclaimed scum snatched him. Anthony's a good kid. Bit dim, but he doesn't deserve whatever those freaks have in store. We can't get anywhere near where they're holed up. Light blue house across the way. They'll gut him immediately if they see us coming. But you? They don't know you. You'll be able to stroll right in. After that, whatever you need to do, that's your business. Personally, I'd put a few bullets through their skulls. Let the dirt reclaim them. What's in it for me? If he comes back alive, I'll let you snag a few things from our supplies. We've got some meds, decent grub, ammo too. Just don't get greedy. Sounds like I can be of service. Get to it then. Knowing how those savages operate, he might not have much time before they execute him. I'll be fast. What was he thinking? These are people who have chosen to be savages, not rational people. Trust issue, huh? The blue house. How could I miss that? Damn it. Infected walkers. Damn. 
the upstairs. Could be handy. There we go. Then maybe if I'm feeling particularly cruel, and I'm sure <coughs> I will be, we'll force you to swallow them whole. How does that grab? Hey. Who the hell are you? The negotiator. A big tough Jeff, too chicken shit to show his face and beg for his little brother's life. Not sure I really see the point. I guess I'm here to negotiate a deal for Anthony's release. Release? That's some kind of joke? That motherfucker isn't going anywhere but in the dirt, where maggots belong. What did he do? This subhuman shit is a murderer. My daughter is dead. The tower is at fault, and he is at fault. The tower preaches community, and yet, they toss out those most in need because they are no longer useful. <coughs> because they are a burden. Violet was not a burden. She was a human being. But this fucker treated her like trash. He could have disobeyed orders, but he did not. He forced her out, left her to die. She was 11 years old. Where is your head at, stranger? Exterminate this tower fuck right now, and we won't have a problem. Then we can pay the rest of the vermin a visit. And once they are a pile of corpses, whatever is in their camp, it's yours. Consider it a gift from the reclaim. I see. So I'm picking sides now. He doesn't have to die. You can be merciful. Where was the mercy for Violet, huh? You're fucked in the head, just like the rest of them. Get out of my face before I tear yours off. I am sorry. Please. What's the hold up? I tried to make things right. I tried. Anthony. What I did was horrible. I admit it, but please, you don't have to do this. What's the hold up? What should I do? I followed orders. That's all I'm guilty of, please. It wasn't my decision. If I didn't do it, someone else would have. There was no preventing her exile. Put a bullet through that murderer's skull. What I did was horrible. I admit it, but please. I'm sorry. You don't Anthony. have to do this. What's with the hesitation? A life Quit for a life. I am so fucking thing. We did what we had to do, right? One less brain dead tower slug plaguing the world. Fuck it. I think it's time to put some pressure on these fuckers. We're outnumbered, but we have momentum, right? Yeah. <coughs> time is right fucking now. You with us? I don't know, but... No time like the present. That's the attitude. We've got this. Let's send the message that the future belongs to the Reclaim. The tower, the Reclaimed. All fucked up. I don't want to pick any sides. It's just a lose lose situation for me. I guess it's better to be just a wanderer, a stray. I need to get there before they all dead. Damn it. I'll revenge you. <coughs> Wait, what? Ok. 
guess I'm too late. Now I need to find <coughs> Jeff. <coughs> Alright, Jeff? Aren't you gonna say something? <sighs> okay. <sighs> guess I'm not picking any sides. There we go. The quest item. Interesting weapon. Hey, big brother. There's not much to say beyond I'm sorry, but I have to do this. I can't sleep. I can't eat. I'm a wreck, Jeff. I keep seeing that little girl's face. These visions of her turning. This whole mess is fucking with my head. What did the Martins do to deserve being exiled? It makes no sense. They are good people. Now, I know this might put you in a tough spot. Please forgive me, but I need to make things right. At least give them a slim chance to survive out there. I swiped some supplies from our camp, so you know who to blame. Don't want any other innocent people taking heat. I'm going out to find the Martins and deliver the stuff. Least I can do. I pray it'll help me get my head straight. If I'm not back before the bells, wish me luck. Your little bro, Anthony. Oh, Anthony, you had a kind heart, but you're still too weak-minded. You should have said no to the mama and do what's right. But I guess that's too late. Everything is too late. Now I need to head back. Casey, got something for you. You there, Casey? Come in. Yeah, yeah, I I'm here. Wow, <laughs> you're back. Did you get it? Had to deal with some shit. But I got what you needed. I delivered. Now it's... This is great! Finally, some progress. It's a relief. Okay, uh, let me find the manual for that thing and we can get it calibrated. You're stalling, Casey. I want to hear what you got on the reserve. I'm not doing anything until you hold up your end. We clear? Yeah, yes. All clear. Okay. The reserve is real. But you already knew that, right? What you don't know is that I am in it. It's an old military bunker built in the 50s or 60s. Right after the flood, the National Guard used it as a staging area to distribute disaster relief supplies. But once the dead started walking and things really went to shit, I had no choice but to get inside and hunker down. I thought I was safe for a little while, but... Now I'm fucked. The flood water up top was too much for the reserve's pump system. It, it malfunctioned, and now the whole place is on lockdown. I'm stuck in the comm room. I I'm running out of time. I need to get out of here. Soon. God, I can't wait to see the sky again. I've been working with someone named May. She claims to have a key to the reserve. You know anything about this? If your May is May Benoit, then yeah, yeah, I've heard of her. Tower is always tossing her name around on the airwaves. 
They're really after her ass. Consider her a major threat. I don't know anything about a key to the reserve, though. I'll do some research. If I discover anything, I I'll let you know. What's the rush to get out of there? Starvation, for one. I might have a couple weeks left of scraps down here. But none of that is gonna matter if the flood water sitting on top of this place breaks through. The comm room is filling up slowly right now, but it's only a matter of time before the ceiling collapses. Starvation, crushed or drowned. Pick your poison, right? Starvation doesn't seem like an ideal way to go. The slow death. Yeah, well, well, with your help, I'm hoping to avoid all of it. Fuck, I'd rather take my chances on the surface with a hundred walkers coming at me. At least I'd have a fighting chance. Look, tourist, I'm not asking you to do this out of the kindness of your heart. I mean, there's clearly something in it for you, big time. If the pumps get repaired, not only will I get out, but the supply rooms will all open up. All those disaster relief supplies, untouched. Not to mention enough weaponry and gear to arm multiple platoons. All for you to do with as you please. And for me? A fresh start and some fresh fucking air. You paint a pretty picture, but it sounds too good to be true. Hey, I get it. I could totally be full of shit. But one thing I know, no one else can offer you what I can. Without me, the reserve is gonna remain buried. Forever. If you want the reserve, you're gonna have to work with me. It's a chance you have to take. I'm willing to take the risk. Oh, fantastic. You won't regret it. Well, it it's been a long night, but I'm too wired to sleep. I'm gonna turn this place upside down until I find the manual. You should get some rest, though. I'll contact you in the morning. Good night, tourist. Good night. But before that, I need to work on something. Yes. I want that katana. There we go. more like it. Yes. Hmm. I need a new one. been a long day. Finally, it's time for me to rest. Yeah.